Hey guys, this is the Jacko with a video review of Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Scout Class, I believe, breakdown. Uh, if you've seen in the Demolisher review, I got this guy at Johnny C Cards on um, free comic book day. So I got the two comic books, I got Demolisher for 10 bucks, and I got this guy for 5 bucks. which I thought, oh, that's like, because I think when it first came out it was like 10 So, you know, 5 years later, 5 bucks off. It's not too shabby. Now the box is not in that good of a condition, but it actually held up for that long. Now I got some dents in the bubble. But I can always pop that out. So but uh so yeah, so there is breakdown in his robot mode. You got a nice shot of him in his car mode. Uh breakdown, of course he is a Decepticon from the bottom. Random junk coming to one side, nice embossed Decepticon logo. From the other side you got some Transformers language, Scout class. So, on the back, there's his bio. I'll focus in for you guys. So, there's his tech specs. There is in robot mode and sports car mode. Now, I see it doesn't come with any weapons. I'm going to have to find something for him. So, but, uh, yeah. So, without further ado, let's get this guy open. See how cool he actually is. So here we have Revenge of the Fallen Breakdown open up and in his nice little Lamborghini, I'm thinking, uh, car mode. And this is a nice little representation of the G1 Breakdown uh, Stunicon. And I like him. He's nice. Um, of course, you got the red on the hood, which was seen in uh, G1. Got the nice little Decepticon logo, too. So I got nice little vents back here. Got nicely painted taillights. Headlights too, a little black grill, nice door vents, black windows all the way around. Um, got another Decepticon logo in the license plate. So and he got painted rims. So and here's his belly or the bottom of the car, which is actually hidden very well. The only thing that you can see a robot is the hand. So and when I said I was gonna find a weapon. For this guy, I actually can't because his hands are not big enough. They don't have any holes in them, like already arachnid or anything. Doesn't have any storage ports on the car itself, so. But I still like him, he's cool. I think it was a nice deal for five bucks. So. And for comparison, since I don't have any other breakdown, why not Cybertron breakdown? So. So, but yeah, you can see the differences, of course, one's Autobot, one's Decepticon, one's an actual car, another one's a funny drag car, I believe it's called a funny car, yeah. So, but overall, still pretty cool, I like them, so. So there is Breakdown, and Break Transformation, what you want to do is, first, it's very similar to Barricade, uh... It involves the side of the car just like barricade. Uh, so you want to pop that out like that. Want to make sure that you don't mess anything up. Pop them out like that. Bring it up like this. When I come to the windshield, kind of want to unpeg it from the front of the car. I'm going to rotate it around, like so. Then you bring this piece. You want to, and it doesn't say this in the instructions, but you want to bring it down like that. I'm reading out the instructions too, because I just transformed it once. So, and there should be a little small tab. I know it's kind of dark. But that little nub, right below my fingernail, right there, there is a cross hole right there. I'm going to peg that in. I'm going to fold it back till I'll fold the waist back till it gets nice and even. That should be like that. Rotate the arms down like so. I want to uh, 
kind of unpeg the arms. It's kind of tough. Like that. Yeah, once you get a good grip on it, it should come easy. But you want to be careful to not break off the window. There we go. But yeah, there's that. I'll do the feet first. You want to separate, rotate 90 degrees like that so the foot piece is on in the front. And this should move. Should go from that to that. And so the little tip of the hood will become his heel. So. Excuse me if I'm sniffling a lot, I guess I got a clogged up nose. So, now you got his feet. You want to come up to the front the best you can without, you know, moving his waist. You want to kind of, if it can. Uh, just be careful. There we go. Want to unpeg it like that. So it's like that. Oh, kind of hang out. That's so. all. Here's his backpack. You kind of want to angle it too, so you can get under there and pop his head up. Grab his head like that. And it should collapse down like that. And there you have breakdown. Now there is no way to really collapse this into the body more. That would have been nice. But he's still pretty cool. He's a nice little figure. Um, stands kind of at an angle, but uh, I think that's because of the uh, knees or something. Yep, knees. So he does stand. He's kind of back heavy with his backpack, but he's still pretty cool. I do like him. There we go. Oh, I had him for a second. There we go. Um, I'm gonna transform breakdown. The other breakdown, quick, because I forgot to. Stupid Jackal. But anyways, he is nice. A G1 homage. Uh, he's got the red face. If they would have released the other um, Stun of Cons, like the limbs as scouts and maybe the Minnesota, or the, yeah, Minnesota body as a deluxe or something, that would have been kind of cool. Like have Wild Rider, Dead End, I believe. I know drag strip and of course breakdown. So but uh as scouts like I was saying. So but again, there he is with the Cybertron self. And yeah. Of course, again, one's an Autobot, one's a Decepticon, one's white, one's brown, yellow, all the all the colors. So but yeah. So, look at a quick headshot there. So, it's kind of cool. I like the detail on it, too. Very G1 style, like with the Scramble City head, where it had the two points and it had the big center. So, it's very cool. So, you can see the detail in there. I think he has yellow eyes, too. Yeah, I like a yellow, white. So, but he is. Pretty decent articulation. Uh, you got ball jointed head, so you can do it any way you want. Uh, you can go in and out like that. You can go up and down. 360. You got swivel there. You got double jointed elbow. Yeah, you got ball jointed wrist. Uh, no waist, but it does make up with the ball joints in the hips. Make it swivel. You got the knees. I uh, can angle the foot up if you want, but that's mostly for transformation. So, but 
I guess if you want to extend the arms too, you can do that. So yeah, so there it is. Revenge of the Fallen. Uh, breakdown. So this has been the review of Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Scout Class Decepticon Breakdown. He's a pretty cool figure, I like him. Um, not sure about you guys, about movie figures, but this is like one of two that I like a lot, so. But again guys, this has been the Jackal, and of course Decepticon Breakdown. Please comment and subscribe, stay tuned for more reviews, hauls, vlogs, unboxings, all that good stuff. Go follow me on Facebook and Twitter at Jackal24884. Uh, you can get your big and bad toy needs all at BigBadToyStore.com. And again guys, this is Mentha Jackal, and I'll catch you guys later.